welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Thursday, April 1st, Maundy Thursday. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Holy God, source of all love, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave us a new commandment, to love one another as he loves us. Write this commandment in our hearts and give us the will to serve others as he was the servant of all, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We turn now to the pages of Holy Scripture, beginning in the book of Exodus, the 12th chapter. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is to be your beginning of months. It will be your first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, In the tenth day of this month, they each must take a lamb for themselves according to their families, a lamb for each household. If any household is too small for a lamb, the man and his next-door neighbor are to take a lamb according to the number of people. You will make your count for the lamb according to how much each one can eat. This is how you are to eat it, dressed to travel, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. You are to eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. I will pass through the land of Egypt in the same night, and I will attack all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both of humans and of animals, and on all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, so that when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And this plague will not fall on you to destroy you when I attack the land of Egypt. This day will become a memorial for you, and you will celebrate it as a festival to the Lord, you will celebrate it perpetually as a lasting ordinance. Today's psalm is Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he heard my plea for mercy and listened to me. As long as I live, I will call to him when I need help. How can I repay the Lord for all his acts of kindness to me? I will celebrate my deliverance and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord before all his people. The Lord values the lives of his faithful followers. Yes, Lord, I am indeed your servant. I am your lowest slave. You saved me from death. I will present a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord before all his people in the courts of the Lord's temple in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. A reading now from the first letter to the Corinthians, the 11th chapter. Paul writes, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this every time you drink it in remembrance of me. For every time you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Finally, in the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter. 
Just before the Passover feast, Jesus knew that his time had come to depart from this world to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now loved them to the very end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, that he should betray Jesus. Because Jesus knew that the Father had handed all things over to him, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, he got up from the meal, removed his outer clothes, took a towel, and tied it around himself. He poured water into the wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to dry them with the towel he had wrapped around himself. Then he came to Simon Peter. Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not understand what I am doing now, but you will understand after these things. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, wash not only my feet, but my hands also and my head. Jesus replied, The one who is bathed needs only to wash his feet, but is completely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not every one of you. For Jesus knew the one who was going to betray him. For this reason, he said, not every one of you is clean. So when Jesus had washed their feet and put his outer clothing back on, he took his place at the table again and said to them, Do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and do so correctly, for that is what I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you too ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example. You should do just as I have done for you. I tell you the solemn truth. The slave is not greater than the master, nor is the one who is sent as a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Now, Jesus said, the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him right away. Children, I am still with you for a little while. You will look for me, and just as I said to the Jewish religious leaders, where I am going you cannot come, now I tell you the same. I give you a new commandment, to love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Everyone will know by this that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So, in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. 
Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org where you'll find out about all of our Holy Week and Easter Sunday services. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministries. You'll find our PayPal address in our program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.